Hello, this is Lena's Needle Crafts, and thank you for joining my video. And I'm Lena. How are you today? And anyway, uh, I'm going to show you my summer hat. It's a good Easter hat to have. I, it's, I call it summer hat. See the pattern? I designed it. I hope there's no other hats out there like it. <laughs> you know, and, uh, and I'm going to do a tutorial today and show you how to make it. So anyway, this is Charlotte. She was my babysitter who taught me how to crochet when I was nine, and she's going to join us today. Hi, Charlotte. How are you today? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to use a size G needle, and I'm going to use size 3 thread. This is acrylic, size 3. It's a pretty lavender color. I'm, I'm using this color so it would be easier to see as I work along. So we're going to go to the table. And let's get started. And uh, if you like my video, hit like. And uh, if you subscribe to me, I've got a lot of crocheting to show you how to do. Okay. And uh, shall we get started? Yes. <laughs> and as you know, we're going to make an Easter hat. And this one's very colorful. And I've used, uh, you know, that pancake yarn that's different colors. And it's a size 3 normally. And uh, that's the size we're going to use in size H needle. You can use a G needle if you wish, though. But it makes it tighter and you'd have to add more rolls in your pattern. And as you know, the pattern, the pattern is we've got front pulse. And then we make stitches in between. And you can size your hat on the different how many front posts you use. Like this is 10 front posts around, and uh, that makes like a, an adult woman's small hat. This is like a 20 inch hat. Now, if you wanted to use eight or six, you could probably make a child's hat with eight. And then uh, on our pattern today, I'm doing a 12, which would make a woman's medium or large hat about 23 inches. Or 20 you know 23 but you can try it on and see how it looks for you and you put so many stitches in between those and that makes the size of your hat just so you know and uh, you know Easter is so full of promise and spring and you can wear your hat with pride and have fun making it this has got a wire rim on it to hold its shape and make it stand out and uh, I just love these colors we're going to make ours in uh, lavender, a solid color, so that you can see. Hi, Charlotte. How are you today? Anyway, uh, let's get started. Okay, we're going to do a magic ring is how we're going to start. And you take the end of your thread and you hold it like this. And you go down like that and around. And then you start on the right-hand side after it crosses is where you pull your thread through. And you bring it up and you do a crochet stitch like that and there's our magic ring now in this hat we're going to do 12 double crochets this has got 10 in it but we'll use 12 double crochets around and that'll be our starting point so let's do 12 double crochets i just did that one chain and then 12 double crochets Sometimes when you use this uh, three yarn, they don't twist it a lot. So your, your needle sometimes can get tangled up because the yarn untwists and whoops, you see that? How it, how it kind of got in there? So you got to just be careful, you know. Okay, I'll meet you after we get this done for round two. Three. Okay, we did our 12 double crochets and we're going to pull it tight. There we go. And let's slip stitch it together on top of the chain. Like that. Now how we're going to do our, our next row is we're going to do um, chain one and do a front post around the first chain. So you go around the chain, see, you go in the two holes, a front post, you go in, it's a horizontal stitch, you go in like this, 
and you go under and over and you pull it through and then you complete your crochet stitch which is a double crochet one two pull it up a little bit and then we're going to do a half double crochet in between the stitches so here's a half double see we're doubling the stitches and then we're going to go around the front post again see like this so there'll be 12 front posts and 12 half double crochets okay go in the stitch and let's do a double crochet and let's do a front post like this and then do a double crochet in the stitch there a front post like this like that and then do a double crochet in the stitch yeah then when I turned 12 I went and uh, to continue the story when I turned 12 I went and got a learn how book and I realized she was teaching me the English method that the double crochets were actually a triple and the English call you know what she called a triple triple was a double so I had to relearn how to do the stitches the American way and then I uh, and I had to relearn how to do it all and how to read patterns. So I taught myself how to read patterns. And then when I was about 16, I got me a, a knitting book with illustrations. And I struggled with that for a while. And I finally learned how to do knit and purl and some of that. And then I went, uh, and then when I was 22, I ended up in Alaska during the pipeline. And I, uh, and I went in, uh, there was a girl, woman there who taught weaving. Whoops, that's a half double crochet. Who taught weaving. And so I learned weaving and spinning. So, you know, and then I just took it on from there. Just constantly taking courses and learning stuff. <laughs> so, my love of crafts. Actually, I wore off my fingerprints. They can't fingerprint me. I've worked so much in crafts that, uh, you know, they have to bypass my fingerprints. I'll see you when we get this double crochet. And then we just go ahead and slip stitch it. Chain one. And do a front post. See? Now you gotta look close because sometimes it can get confusing. But you can see it's it's three-dimensional, it sticks out more. And you shouldn't you shouldn't have any problem. Just kind of be aware of it, and pull it up, nice and tight. And there you go. See, and that's your stitch. Okay, uh, and this is a front post and the front post, chain one, sing and then single crochet in your half double crochet, chain one and then a front post again. Go around. Single crochet and then do a half and then do your front post and then chain one and then do a front post. We'll do this all the way around and I'll see you back when we're done, okay? Okay, we finished the row, let the chain one and then we slip stitch. See that? Now check and make sure that your front posts are all lined up and that you didn't put an extra one in there or that you missed it. See, make sure they're all in there in your chain one. Okay, they seem to be fine. So that's that row. And now row four is where we're going to make a V. And I call it the V stitch. And what we do is we chain one and then we go around the front post, double crochet, see around the post, like I showed you, and there's the first one. And then we go and do a half double in the V-stitch, in the single crochet, like that, chain two, and then a V-stitch. Oh, I'm sorry, it's chain one. Chain one, and then a V-stitch. And then we do a front post again. Double crochet. See, we did a little V 
See that V stitch? It comes down like this, comes down like this, and up. And that's half double, cr single crochet, or a chain stitch, half double, a chain stitch, and a half double. And then we do a front post again. Okay? So let's do that again. There's our front post. And in the chain stitch, we do, whoops, let's get in that stitch. We do a half double, chain two, and a half double. Okay, I'm going around. We go under the post, do a front post, double crochet. Now we go into the single crochet stitch, and we go. One side of the V, half double, chain one, and then one side of the V. And then we go around our front post, the next front post. And up and do it. See, and that's how we do that. And we go in the V, and we do a half double, and we chain one, and then we do a half double. And then we go around the front post again. See how we did that? This is a real pretty color. Okay, one V, chain one, and a V. And then we go around our half double. And I'll see you, I'll see you again when we get near the end. Chain one and go in the half double. Okay? If you like my video, please hit subscribe and hit the like button and tell me what you think of it. And I'll be putting another one on of a cloach white hat. And I hope you'll like that one too. Thank you. Okay, and let's join that with a slip stitch. So let's row four. And with row five, the only difference we're going to have is we're going to chain two between the half doubles. Okay? We're just going to chain two. Did I do that? Let's see. Okay. So chain one to go up. And then let's do our double crochet in there. Make sure all your things are lined up. Yeah, they are. You know how that goes. <laughs> okay. And instead of go, you go in the space. You see the chains one space? So you go into that and do your V stitch, but you do two half double crochets. No, you do a half double crochet and chain two and a half double crochet. Chain two and a half double crochet in the space. The chain one space. See, like that. And there's your V. And then you do a front post again, which is this one. Remember? And we want to be sure, and don't go in those holes. We want to go in the main, the big hole in the middle. And go up, and go. Sometimes you have to just double check it. And then in the chain one space, we do a half double crochet. Chain two, and a half double crochet. And let's go around our post again. Up, push it up, and do it. And then get in your chain one space, and you do that, and do your half double crochet. Chain two, and half double crochet. 
Okay. And let's do our post again, which is this one. Push it up a little bit. And then there's our chain one space, our V there. We go in that space and we make a half double crochet, chain two, and a half double crochet. And this is row five. And then we go around that post again. It's three dimensional, so you should be able to see it. Sometimes you have to straighten them up a little bit. <laughs> okay, make our Easter hat. And then we go into the chain one space. We do a half double, chain two, and a half double. And I'll meet you, I'll go all the way around and I'll see you for our next segment. Okay, we finished that row. Let's go ahead and do our uh, finish it up. Half double crochet in the chain one space, chain two, and then do a half double crochet. And this is row five, and then a chain stitch in the single crochet, okay? There we go. You wanna double check it. Make sure everything's lined up, looks good, everything's lined up, your V's are all in the right places. That's good, okay. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, uh, two half doubles, chain two, and two half doubles. So let's chain one, go around the front post like we do, lift it up, and do like a regular double crochet. Now here we're gonna do one half double in the chain two space, and another half double And then we're going to chain two and then do two more half doubles. One, two, and then go around the front post. Double crochet. One, two. And let's do two half double crochets in the chain two space of the V. One, two, and then chain two, and then two half double crochets. There we go. One, two. Anyway, Charlotte, her hair was wavy. She used to do it like Mae West. It goes back and then forth and then back and forth. So it was real wavy on the top of her head. And uh, Mae West was an old actress and she would, I was a lot like her. She chewed gum a lot, wore red lipstick and nail polish. And uh, she used to say things like Mae West had a lot of one-liners like, come up and see me, big boy. <laughs> she was so funny. Anyway, okay, let's go around now. There's the, the V, so we need to go the front post again. There's our front post. Go under, bring the yarn back, and then finish your stitch. One, yarn over and pull through. See? And let's do one, two, one, two chains, and then two more half double crochet. So we'll just call this a beast cluster or a v-stitch. I'm not sure. <laughs> There's different names almost for every stitch you use. <laughs> okay, let's go around our front post again. We go between the two in the middle, the two biggest holes. Pull up a little bit. Make your work nice. See? See, and that's what you have. Your v-stitch and your front pulse. So let's go. One, two, two stitches, and then chains. 
and then one and two half double crochets. And then your front post again. Okay, I'm going to finish the round, pull that up real nice and tight, and then I'll get back with you. Okay? And let's do a slip stitch. And this was row six. I'm sorry, it was row six. So we just finished row six. And let's tie that a lot tighter in the center here. There we go. See, it's starting to take shape. Let's look at our hat here. You can see we're about right this row. Anyway, the next row we're going to add it to two chains in there. And, uh, you know, uh, We're going to do a front post, and then a chain one, and then do our V, and then a chain one and a front post. So, let's chain one, and do our front post. Front post, chain one, do our V. Half double crochet, half double crochet, two half double crochets, and chain two, and then two half double crochets. And then chain one, and then we'll go around our front post. Pull it up a little bit. See, we added a, a chain in there on each side. Okay. Let's add a chain one, then we'll do one, two half double crochets, chain two, and then half double crochets. Half, one, and then one. And then chain one. And then we'll go around our front post. We go around all the front posts. Okay, chain one, and then do our V's, two half double crochets, chain two, and two half double crochets. Chain one, do our V's. Go between the two. You don't want to make a mistake and go in that one. You want to go in the big holes, vertical or horizontal, and pull up a little bit and like there. Chain one, make your cluster V or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> half double, half double, chain two, and half double. And half double. This makes a hat about 22 and a half, 23 inches around. I made a hat for me. This is 22 inches around, being a, a eight with eight in there, but with or with 10, I mean. But with 12, you get about 22, 22, 23, in, or 22 and a half, 23 inches, which is a medium woman size chain one. So you know you just accordingly two okay do one more and then chain one do your v cluster half double crochet one second half double crochet what do you think of that charlotte hmm <laughs> chain two and then go in and chain one i wanted to make charlotte homemade with body and and a face and everything, but I just haven't had the time. Chain one, so I found this doll that looked just like her. So. Okay, and let's go all the way around and then we'll start and then we'll start our next row. Thank you. Okay, here we are back again and I've I've slip stitched it and this next round is round number eight and we're it's gonna be the same as round number seven. And I'm so happy that you finished and got this far, and I'm very proud of you. 
Sometimes it takes a lot of work to start a project and a lot of preparation. Okay, let's do a, a front post, double crochet, bring it up, chain one. Let's do our V cluster, which is half double crochet, one of them, two, chain two. There's our other one, one and two, and there's our V cluster. See? Chain one, and then do a front pulse, double crochet. See? Oops. All right, chain one, and do our cluster, one half double crochet, two, and then chain two, and then two more half double crochets. And then chain one, and then go around the front post. Okay, I'll see you when we finish this round, and then we'll start round nine, all right? Now in row nine, we're going to add a little half double crochet on each side of the V stitch. Let me double crochet this. Okay. Oops. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, get our half double, our front post double crochet in there through two, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to um, half double right in the, you're going to like skip one chain, put it right there. See? Right next to where that double chain is. So we'll do a half double crochet and then do your V stitch, half double crochet, one, two, chain two, one, and two, and then do your half double crochet right at the end. It's like you're skipping that first and putting it in the second one, but it goes right there. Like that. And then you do your front post. Oh, and you do your uh, uh, chain one, and then you go around your front post. Chain one, and you put your half double crochet right there. It's like you skip one chain. Put it right there, half double crochet, then you just do your one, two, your V cluster, chain two, do your V cluster, and then you do your half double, like you chain one, you skip one chain. And you go in the next one at the end of your cluster. So it's like that. It looks like that. And then you go around and chain one and go around your front post. So don't forget to chain one after and be after the front post, the half double crochet. It's like you skip one stitch and do it right there, but it's right at the end of that V cluster. And then you just do your cluster, the two half double, the chain two and two half double, and then you put another half double right at the end. It's like you skip a chain right at the end there. And then you do chain one and then a, and then your go around your front post. So that's what it looks like. Okay, chain one. 
Put your half double crochet, half double crochet in there, right there, like you miss one, chain one, go there, and then you go in your space and do your V cluster. One, two, one, two, and you go one, two, and then you do your V. Then you do your half double crochet at the end of the cluster. It's like you skip a chain there. And then you go between half double crochet. Then you chain one. And then you do your, your front post, which is front post double crochet. So that's what it should look like. I'll do it one more time and then I'll meet you at the end. Okay, chain one. Do your half double crochet right there. Oh, let me get it in there. Right there. Then do your your V cluster. Or one, two, chain two. One, two, and then do your, go right in there like you skip one chain and go right in there. Half double, then you chain one, and then you go around your front post. Pull up a little bit. Now row 10 is exactly like row 9. You do the same thing. So, Chain one, go around your front post, front post, half crochet, double crochet, you go through and up, pull it up a little bit, and you chain one, you go on top of that, and you go right in between those two, kind of like that. You see, I'm going in between that, so you skip one, go in between, half double. And then you do a half double cluster. One, two, one, two. You go like this. One, two. And then you go back in between the two, between this, the one half double and the two, you go in between them, kind of like that in the stitch. It's like you skip one stitch. <laughs> All right, and then you chain one, and then you half double crochet. Put your front post on. Okay, so you're just repeating what you did in that stitch. Chain one, go between your half double, go between the V cluster and the half double crochet. Half double, and then do your V cluster. One, two, half doubles, chain two. Do your one half double, and two half doubles. And then put your cluster right there after your V stitch. Like that. Chain one, and then do your Okay, since you're repeating the row before. So I'll meet you at the other end, and we'll be on row 11. Okay, thank you. Now the 11th round is the same, believe it or not. <laughs> you do a front post, chain one, and let's go around our front post. Here we go. And we do a chain one. And we go in between right there. Half double. You skip like a stitch and then it's right there. And then we go in our our V cluster. One. Two, 
chain two, and then one, and two. That's how we do it. Do the same thing. You do a half double right there, like you skip one double crochet, and it goes right between. Right there, chain one, and then go around the front post. And one more time, chain one, go right there for your half cluster. It's like you skip a chain. And then uh, go in your V's, make your V cluster, two, two double crochet, and there's your V cluster, and then do a half double crochet in between there. skip one and then you do it right there and you leave that one there and then you go around oops I'm sorry you chain one and then you go around your post pull up a little bit and you go around your post okay so just repeat that and go around and I'll talk to you again now in round 12 we're going to eliminate the chain so what we're going to do is we're going to do a front post. So let's get around and do our front post. There's our front post. And then we're going to do a half double crochet in the half double crochet. And then we're going to do our V stitch or V cluster. Or anyway, we're eliminating the chain one stitch. We're going to start turning our hat. We'll be going inward, chain two, two more half double crochets. And then our V. And then our front post. See? We eliminated the chain one. We're going to start turning our hat down. Okay, let's do that again. Front post. And now we're doing our half double crochet. And then our V. Cluster, half double, half double, chain two, half double, and half double. Hopefully this will be a better year for you, and uh, let's do our V. It kind of doesn't matter if you put it here or here. Uh, you know, we're just trying to just put it in the same place each time if you can. And let me see, half double, front post. So we'll do that all the way around, and I'll meet you back here after you get that done. Anyway, I asked my husband, I said, or he said to me, or anyway, uh, you know, my husband said to me, why don't you just go to Walmart and buy a $3 hat there? And I said, wrong question to ask. <laughs> I told him, well, honey, it's because they're all almost the same, knitted material, acrylic, and you can, when you make your own hat, you can use cotton blends with cotton and bamboo, or wool, or you know, all nylon with wool. You can do all kinds of blends. And I said, also you can you can crochet for different seasons. You can spring, summer, and stuff. But mostly it's just winter hats. You you have to buy at the store. And then I said to him, uh, you know, we don't. Uh, you can make any design you want. It don't have to be like go to the store and buy one that they're all the same. You know, like the winter hats are mostly the same. The kids' hats sometimes are different. But the winter hats, let's face it, they're all the same. And I said, you can use any color you want. And they have a tendency to use stripes, you know, at the stores. And it's just, you know, it's so many different things you can do. And you can create any design you want. 
And he was sorry he asked me <laughs> before it was over. <laughs> anyway. But that's the truth. I made one for my granddaughter, a real pretty uh, purple hat with a, a yellow flower, flower, and that's what she asked me for. And uh, I told her, now, you keep this nice, wear it with your outfits and all this. But instead, I caught her a, a few minutes later bouncing on the trampoline, the hat going every which way, and it got real dirty. And, and I just couldn't believe she did that. But, you know, she was only seven. So, you know, you, you expect that. And uh, she was always a mischievous one anyway. Uh, for Halloween, she told me, I'm going to go as a witch so that I can take my teeth out like my other grandma. So, yeah, she comes up with things. <laughs> anyway, I'll meet you back now at the beginning, and uh, we'll go ahead and start with round 13, and we're getting close to starting our rim, uh, you know. And uh, you'd have to try it on then and adjust your rounds for how you, you want it to fit your head. Okay, I'll see you back. I'm going between the half double crochet and the clusters. I'm going between that stitch, like right here. I'm going between, you see that? I'm going between that half double crochet and the clusters on round 13. Makes it look even all the way around. And then do our V clusters. Two half double crochets, chain two, and two half double crochets. And then go between the clusters. See, after the two half double crochets, you get between that. And then you go around the post. and do your single crochet. Okay, we'll see you on round 14. Okay, now you want your hat to be kind of like just, mm -hmm. just around, just around the bottom of your ear or in the middle of your ear, however you prefer it. So let's go ahead and try it on. You see that's really close. You might want to add another round to it. I think I will, and we'll just repeat the pattern one more time to add another round to it. And uh, you might want to mark where you're beginning at because it's sometimes a little hard. One time I went right by the row. So, you know, I, I, I kind of am uh, familiar, but you know what can happen, especially if you get going really good. So let's chain one and then go around our post front pulse, lift it up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and repeat this one more time. Go in the next thing, half double crochet in between the one half double crochet and the cluster. There's your half double crochet and then do your V cluster. One, two, chain two. If you're making this for an adult, you know, woman and she's like, she seems to have an average head, Go ahead and uh, do uh, uh, 14 rounds, and uh, I think you'll be safe. <laughs> you could probably do it with 13, too. Just kind of like, if you're a loose crocheter, you know, you could use 13, but if you're a tight crocheter, go ahead and do 14. Just use your own judgment on how far down on the head you want it to go. Usually ideas about right there, you know, about right there about right there okay so we'll do this again and then we'll start making our band outward I'll meet you back I want to explain row 15 16 and 17 you do a front go around the front post like this I don't have the hat here as I already finished it and then you do eight single crochet between the front posts. Try and get them spaced evenly. One half double crochet. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this is and then you do another front pulse. This is row 15, 16, and 17. There you go. And then you do, and then you do more eight half double crochets between the front pulse again. One, two, like that. 15, 16, and 17. See? You just space them as evenly in there as you can. Now that's 15 to 17, and in row uh, 18 and 19, you do nine half double crochets. 18 and 19. So there's that one. So rows, like I said, 18 and 19, you do nine half double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then in row 20, you do 10 half double crochets between the front posts. You do 10, and then in row 21, you do 11, just so you know. So the first three rows, 15, 16, and 17, is eight double crochets. And then uh, 18 and 19 is nine double crochets between the front posts. And then 20 is 10, and 21 is 11. As you can see here, we're doing this part of the hat. We're going doing our rounds with our front pulse, still following it down. And I think there's six or seven rows. And uh, we did 15 to 18 with eight in between the front pulse. Now we're gonna do nine, 19, row 19 and 20, we're gonna do nine. So you just increase it by one and uh, that's how we're going to do it. Okay. This is row 21, and we're going to do 11 in between so that we can have enough to do our ribbing on the next row. Uh, I've decided to do 11 in between those, and then don't forget to keep your front posts where the front posts go, and then do 11 half double crochet in between. 10 in the row previous, that's number 20, and then we did nine and eight, nine in the previous two rows and then eight in the first three rows. So that would be uh, the first three rows to row 17. This is 17, 15 to 17 is, uh, has got eight in it. And then uh, 18 and 19 has nine. And then uh, 20 has 10 and then uh, 21 has 11. Okay, I'll meet you back around when we're done. Let's finish up this row 21 and where we're doing 11 in between. So we did our front pulse there, yarn over and go in that stitch right there. There's one and we'll go all the way. I'll speed this up so we'll be done sooner. Half double crochet, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 
slip stitch. Okay, now what we're going to do in the next row is going to be front pulse and back pulse. Uh, it's a rib stitch, and uh, we're just going to follow, do it in each one. Start with the front post. Now, we don't have to follow these anymore. If a back post ends up right there, that's okay because uh, we're just doing a front post and a back post rib. So that's front post. Do a back post. See how we did that? On that one. Let's do a front post. Back post. Front post. Just make sure you get it in between, verti horizontally between the holes. See how that is? It'll look better once it's done. See? Front, back, front, back, front. And just follow that all the way around. Okay? And let's do another one. Get it in the back and around. Do a double crochet. And this is the front. And this is the back. Do that for the next two rows. And this is row 22. And Yeah, it takes up 50 inches, cut 50 inches of the braided wire, and then you just hold it and do it like I showed you. Okay. We're going to insert the braided wire now in the rim hat, and that's about the last thing you have to do. Uh, it, this is called braided wire, and it's more flexible than normal wire, and it bends around but yet holds its shape. So I like braided wire a little better. You use about you know, about this much out, about six inches, you know, four to six inches, and then you uh, put it in, and then you start crocheting around the wire. Chain one on your single crochet. Chain one. And then go ahead and start single and crochet around the wire. Try and do as even as you can. Uh, you can uh, put more than one single crochet in a stitch if you feel, you know, it's stretched too thin. You know, we'll put one in up here. See, that's the third one. And See, right here would be a nice place for one. So we'll put like two in that one. We don't want it to, to, to come together too close, but you want it to cover the wire adequately. So there, we put two in that one. And you just do that all the way around. And I'll see you back here when we get near the end. And uh, we'll, uh, and I just put the two wires together, overlap them and just put some uh, thread around them or, or you know, like that. And uh, because that seems to work okay. Uh, some people, they have you knot them together and different things, but it changes the shape and it won't hold a good shape on your hat, I've found. Anyway, uh, you, you can't seem to thread it through either because it gets stuck in there and it, and it doesn't do very good. So we'll just go ahead and crochet it in all the way around and do the best we can. All right, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Now to finish, you know where your band starts, where you did the one at the top where you did the one on the front loop. Well, on the back loop, I do a single crochet around, sort of like a hat band. And that makes it so that, you know, I think it fits better. And, you know, type, tuck your ends in. I've got to type, put that in. But, you know, it, uh, I like to do a little bit around that, that bottom crochet around there, like that, just single crochet. Okay, and, and you did it! Yay! Aren't you happy? And I'm so glad you joined my video today. And uh, let's put our hat on. There's our hat on the lady. And isn't that pretty? And she's all set. So you're ready to enjoy Easter. You can decorate it. You can put, uh, you know, little flowers on it or a, or a little, like, band or something like that around it. You can decorate it any way you want. There we go, and thank you for joining me. This is Lena's Needle Crafts, 
and uh, have a happy day and happy crocheting. Bye-bye.